You're the Mar-a-Lago Club member to ABC News. Let's bring in our legal and national security analyst for analysis. And Sean Turner, let me start with you. This is potentially a very significant development, isn't it? It is, Wolf. You know, from the very first time that we knew that the former president had documents at Mar-a-Lago, for national security and intelligence official, officials, there were two key questions. The first is, what did the former president intend to do with the information? And the second is, who in the president's orbit would have access to that information? And the worst case scenario for that, for that situation was that there would be a foreign national who had access to that information. And that worst case scenario has been realized that this reporting is accurate. Uh, it's important to point out too, Wolf, that this is not just any intelligence. This is what we call actionable intelligence. In other words, it's information that allows our foreign adversaries to react to our military capabilities. So if this is accurate, this is extremely concerning from an intelligence perspective. Very concerning indeed. Olivia Troy, as Sean says, it was always a question about what Trump was doing with these highly classified documents that he stored over there at Mar-a-Lago. This potentially shed some serious light on that, right? <laughs> Yes, and it takes it to a whole new level of understanding of the negligence of his behavior with such sacred information that, uh, look, people put their lives at risk for, right? I mean, I, I have to tell you, Wolf, I am sick to my stomach just reading and, and learning this news exactly of what we what they believe it was that he shared because, uh, look, it's the silent service, the submariners who spend months at sea, and I think about just what a betrayal to have a uh, former president of the United States sharing this information that could be easily given to foreign adversaries who are eagerly, like eagerly seeking this type of information that could put all of our national security at risk. It, it is it is beyond disgraceful. It, this is awful. Yeah, 